In this episode, it's all about boat jobs and prepping for departure. But we also have fun diving to a wreck and face a tropical wave. First, this is me, Kim. There is Bart. And here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33 foot sailboat, Tranquility. Last week we installed more solar, enjoyed a night dive and encountered more thunderstorms. Do you remember our snubber line? Well, after being at anchor for so long we noticed that there is a lot of growth on it because it hangs in the water. Besides that, our hook is bent and with the stormy weather the past few weeks, not that reliable anymore. Time for an upgrade. A new snubber for anchor chain. Um, I want to build it a little bit more beefy. So I use this 60 millimeter rope. I've got a metal um, thimble, so it cannot chafe. What we like to do is measure five times of the thimble. I'll take a piece of whipping line waxed whipping line because it can be left in place and I mark it off. This is to prevent the actual splice and the strengths, the three strengths coming apart when doing your splice. What you want to do is take the thimble, put it around, use this and all the way for your eye splice. Your whipping line will be right there. Let's take the strengths apart. I use some electrical tape, break them apart, and use your tape to tape the ends. Now unravel the ends. Measure it off again. So again, the end right over there. Then we use our upper strength strain. It's this one. And we fold it underneath, open it up and go underneath from the outside in over the string and tighten. Keep it nice and tight. And the second one. Flip it over, make sure you rotate your string so the line will stay the same and then you go over this one underneath that one. There we go. A 
now you can see the final one needs to go over this one and underneath here. And then if you hang it upside down, you should have a palm tree. All the leaves comes out of another strain. See that? Now you just move one further over this one, underneath that one. And then all along. And you do that for five times. Over this one. Last one, five times is okay. It will not add any more strength if you extend. In fact, three times should be fine, but this is for the anchor chain, so. A little bit of overkill problem. All right, done. Now you see, I have these longer ones that makes it very easy to splice. You can actually don't use five times, but I think three times or four, three and a half times would be fine. Now you have a lot of extra material to cut off. Let's just cut it off near the ends. So I leave a little bit of those fluffy ends and you can use some heat, but it will stay, it will stay like this, that's no problem. I'll just use a little bit of heat to take them down and push them together. Nice braided thimble in a nice place. So I put it around the snubber. That's number two. This new anchor hook, anchor chain hook. Uh, a very too big Dyneema piece, which is going to be in here. Attach it to each other. I think I'm gonna run twice because I'm too far away. There we go. Let's put it on. We enjoyed diving so much that we started to do some courses. Now we have the time. Today Bart will finish his advanced course and I can join. We go to the superior producer, a wreck dive. This ship sank in 1977 just outside the entrance of the harbour of Otrabanda. It was loaded with cargo for Christmas shopping. Due to a rough sea the cargo shifted and the ship began to list. The superior producer is 50 meters long and stands upright at approximately 30 meter depth. The wreck is located close to the cruise terminal, so you can only visit it when there is no cruise ship. The place where we jumped in is also where we climb out. It is time to clean the dinghy after more than three weeks on Spanish water. So first I use this scrub, but then I found out everything gets dirty because you wipe it off everywhere. If you use this scraper, scrape it off.
brand new. So this is our uh, th third, right? Third tropical wave coming to Curacao. Uh, I must say this is the worst one. It's a the, tropical depression. It's a tropical depression. It's not a wave anymore. So um, the day was calm, but now it's uh, it's on. We had uh, it's, uh, it's not really bad, but this is our uh, wind warning. That's uh, above 35 knots of wind. The boat is heeling over now, and um, yeah, we're just uh, sitting here because sleeping is not really an option in these winds. Everybody at the anchorage was alert. There was a lot going on with a few dragging boats. So the uh, orange boat next to Kim and Vincent is uh, dragging. It's not at anchor but on a mooring and uh, Kim and Vincent are now busy putting fenders out on their side because there's not much you can do actually. It's too, uh, wind is too hard to uh, go there by dinghy and try and get the boat secured, so it's just fend us out, hoping for the best. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that catamaran sailing up behind you there uh, on the tanker, over. Yes, we are aware of that, and uh, they are uh, on the boat, they are uh, on, uh, on the outlook also, so uh, we keep an eye on it, over. Kim, what just happened? I don't know. <laughs> oh, some toys fell off the couch. So the wind is blowing so hard, we are uh, healing on our anchor spot, right? Yes. After a few hours, the storm cooled down and we could go to bed again. Today we are busy with finishing up the compartment for the water maker. We are building a box inside to store, uh, to make a storage room uh, of, the set, of the rest room we have. And we are putting shelves in our closet in the back berth, which is now a hanging closet. So this is the compartment where we installed the water maker. And as you can see, over there is still a space left and actually too large to keep empty and what we did is put a little piece of wood over here and we want to put uh, a wall in front of here with wood but the box has a, a corner over here so we need to measure that out and as we did last time, we use cardboard. So, and that is the closet we are talking about. It's a hanging closet right now. And we are putting three shelves, two shelves. With the experience of building a platform in this compartment, it is easier to build a box inside. And we need the storage. We really look for all the space we can use. And this is just too much space to leave unused. So I did all the wood in uh, one coat of epoxy, that's why it's more darkened now. I made our 
separation plate in the locker uh, which is gonna be in there um, and I screwed and epoxied with a little fillet all the wood in place so that's going nowhere already um, that's the downside if you let epoxy cure over time you have to sand it light to um, to paint it so now I'm gonna paint it with some uh, white In the next episode, we learn how to free dive, how deep do we go, and we plan our passage towards. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.